Back to Spirito, has the ball in hand, throws it up for the start of the second half of the preliminary final. Walker with a backhand to Ronnie Pilgrim, straight through the middle. First kick out of the centre, straight down the middle to Andrews. It's as easy as that. Bannockburn from the middle. Ronnie Pilgrim straight down the throat of the drainer. He's got Matty Pilgrim in the pocket by himself, still in the pocket by himself. Oh, but hey. I think Troy Collier just said, stand back and take the kick. What's wrong? Brett Mickelson was, was just innocently coming the other way. And Ronnie ran straight through and caught with the footy. And poor old Brett's not very, not very good at it, I think. Andrews from 40 metres out. This time I straight over the through. umpire's head. Goal number four for the drainer. Goal number ten for Bannockburn. The next nine minutes are very important now, Pete. Next nine <laughs> minutes, mate. 10, 12, 72, Bannockburn, Bell Post, still 4, 4, 7, 31. 44 seconds. 44 <laughs> seconds into the third term. And that is on Alexa Wyndham scoreboard. Mate, the biggest uh, man in football and myself have been in lodging a very, very serious complaint with the Belmont Lions. <laughs> Absolute disgrace. Have you see what David Froney's done in there? What's that? He has got a cream cake in there that's about eight inches high, <laughs> and Dick and I are trying to work out how we can eat it without looking like pigs. <laughs> so we've lodged a formal complaint with the Belmont Lions. Just go and see Dick Caldo. He'll show you how to do it. <laughs> Actually, Dave Froney said, uh, take the top half first, then the bottom. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Back in the middle. Perkins, big thump down to Flanagan, back to Rock and Ronnie, gets the right foot kick towards half forward. Hancock back in defence now for Bell Post till Andrews comes out at pace. The drainer, he wants the foot, he's held onto this time. Handball out of Giles, kick around the corner, over the head of Mickelson. Oh. Ronnie, kick oh. the goal! Ronnie Pilgrim! <laughs> goal number five! Jeez! Oh, he's in everything. The captain's leading from the front. His fifth and the 11th for Bannockburn. They Gee. go to 11, 12, 78. They lead Bell Post till 4, 7, 31. <laughs> what have I got in the box today? A little <laughs> mate. Who, who are these guys bearing for? What a mate, he he's, is he's a special. classy bloke. He's front, right and centre oh, at the minute. Gee. Five goals straight. He actually said to me on Thursday he's going to kick the eighth one for me. <laughs> so he's got three to get. <laughs> he's well on the way and, and he's been absolutely dominant in the first couple of minutes here in the, uh, the third quarter. Doesn't he excite you, Laurie? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I wish I could play like that. <laughs> But look, I mean, the thing that's happening now, if, if we don't stem, Belpost Hill don't stem this now, they, they're going to be uh, uh, demonstrating to Werribee. This is what it's all about, guys, and uh, they'll, they'll be breathing fire down Werribee right here and now if they keep this up. Well, there's quite a few of the uh, Werribee boys are here, certainly, and I tell you what, they'll be, uh, they'll be watching this very, very carefully. Umpire with the ball. Back in the centre, two and a half minutes gone. Third quarter. Perkins, again, big tap forward. Uh, easily outstretched Walker on that occasion. The ball, uh, well, Matty Pilgrim, he kicks it off the ground. but uh, And uh, now it's a foot race heading toward the boundary. And uh, will the ball, well, so the uh, Bell Post Hill players tried to ensure the ball made the boundary. Pavic uh, finally took it over right in front of our broadcast position here on centre wing on the uh, Social Club side of the ground here at St Albans. In comes the ball. Well, tapped down there by Kazuna doing the uh, the ruck work on this occasion. Well, finally, Belfast still tried. Oh, Tom, mate, he had eyes for the ball, comes straight through. He's uh, beaten about four or five tackles, but I tell you what, he's kicked it high, wide and handsome, out of bounds on the full. And, uh, well, there's a very bad sign for uh, Belfast still. Walker has uh, hobbled off the ground, not looking at all uh, good. The free kick out of bounds on the full has gone to uh, Kazuna, and I'd say he might have to do a bit of the ruck work now got the ball, kicks it uh, back to centre wing. Well, the only man to go for the ball with uh, any direction at all was Nicky Pavick of Bannockburn, takes a comfortable chest mark, read it very well. Brings it back again, back towards half forward. The lead there is, uh, well, Kozik was uh, leading in the race for the ball off his hands. The ball uh, is over the boundary line. Bit of a mismatch there, Troy Collager and uh, Kusina. One's about six foot three, the other's about uh, five foot nine. But there they were. In comes the ball. Giles comes up, can't get the tap down. Uh, Collager, he can't get a kick either. Well, it's uh, first time. First time he's paid that. Kicking danger, he said. Well, the free kick has gone to Kelly. He gets a handball to Brett Pollard. Here you go, Bell Post Hill. Drive the ball over the centre. Good looking kick. Well, in front there, Feldman can't take the mark off. Perkins, handball over the top to Harding. Harding on the left foot. Well, perhaps a bit fortunate not to get uh, one down the ground there, Bannockburn. Perkins again picks it up. Over to Matty Pilgrim. Can't quite handle it. Comes back on it. Finally gets it. Twists, ducks, weaves. Gets the ball on the right foot. Andrews leads in the race. Oh, it's gone to the back of the back. Oh, no. Running onto the ball there is Rowan. <laughs> he just can't back. get the ball. 
and a, a rush behind if you like to Bannockburn for the sake of uh, the exercise. 11 13 on the uh, Lexus and Wyndham scoreboard at Bannockburn. That's uh, 79. They lead Belpost Hill 4 7 31. I always remember, have vivid memories of Gary Ablett hitting the point po the goal post at West Coast about three years ago, four years ago. Well, Rowie nearly did the same. I don't think Rowie would have come off as well as Gary Ablett though. There's not much of him. But he missed it just. Connolly kicks in from full back. Looking for, uh, well, somebody. Pavic was in the middle. Hurst is there. Tried to get the handball. Gets a hold. Will take a free kick. Should be, Is that advantage? Yes, it's paid. Oh, no, it's not now. Don't, don't think he knows where, what he wants well, to do. It's coming back now to Bevan Hurst, who's got it in the last line of defence. Now, what's he got? Not much, because he's standing there looking around. He's got Messina wide. He might have to go in that direction. Hancock as well. He does go in that direction now. Oh, Perkins, Rose, they raffle it. Falls to the front, Hancock. Quick kick away towards centre wing. Tom runs back with a flight of the ball. Can't take the mark. Good courage, though. Leaves it behind in the end. McDonald needs a handball to Messina. Oh, he picks it up well on the half volley and runs away. He's got Troy Feldman standing. Oh, he's going to get wrapped up. That's holding the ball, says the umpire. Can't handball to Blake's the backs to the goal, can you, really? In that situation. Oh, it, was, it was definitely a wrong option, wasn't it? Troy Feldman was demanding it. The unfortunate part about it was Steve Delahunt was standing right behind him and he got the tackle. Short to Gad in the middle by himself. He's got Pavic leading. Now he goes longer towards uh, Giles. Oh, who Giles. Drops the chest mark, but second effort towards College up. No, that was a throw, said the umpire. Going to go to Bell Post Hill. And Hancock it is with the free. Goes short towards Fairchild. Oh, can't pick it up. Colliger comes at him. He tries to break the tackle. He can't do so. Kazuna's now under pressure. Colliger has done well and gets the handball somehow away towards Roweth, who runs through. Misses it, though. Can't take it with him. Off hands. Matty oh. Pilgrim in there. Also running through the middle. Mickelson didn't have it. Kazuna, pretty hard. Matty Pilgrim shuffles it out the back to Troy Colliger off one step. Kick around the corner. Oh, Ronnie. Can he make it up? Ronnie Pilgrim. No, he can't. It runs out of bounds away from him. Ronnie Pilgrim outrun Darren Rowan. <laughs> never, never run that fast in his life, has he? He looked like Maurice Green for a minute. I, I, I'd like to have seen the runner coming out the end of Robert Giles. I mean, that's not good enough in my book for a young bloke. He should, uh, he should have held that chest mark, a simple mark. Bad Here he comes now. A bit late, Stormy. Bounce you throw in. Right forward pocket. Bannock Bird attacking the southern end. They're 11 13 79. They lead Bell Post Hill 4 7 31. Boundary throw in. Troy Feldman at the back of the ruck contest. Only as far as Kevin Connors. Ripped off by Connolly. Hancock's in there also. Pushed to the front of the pack. There's Clinton Shaw. Brian Carr leads Roloth in the race for the ball on this occasion. Needs to pick it up and does so. Gets a half a shepherd. Gets the kick wide. <laughs> on the full. Was it? It is out of bounds. Well. Yeah. Wasn't out on the full, says our technical director here. It hit the line. Hit the line, did it? So Nick Pavick's got it on 50, on the boundary line. Goes towards Giles, can't take the mark, needs a second effort, can't keep it in. And it will be another boundary thrown in the right forward pocket. Yes, ball deep in the attacking area for Bannockburn. Eight minutes gone, third quarter. 11-13, plays 4-7. Bannockburn in front, in comes the ball. In front, Hancock, can't take it out of the ruck. Punch forward there for Bannockburn. Oh, great smother. The ball comes. Uh, Connors gets it over to Ronnie Pilgrim. Ronnie Pilgrim. <laughs> off one step over the left shoulder again has kicked his sixth goal. Ronnie Pilgrim, what sort of a third quarter is he having? On the Lexus Wyndham scoreboard now. Eight and a half minutes, third quarter. 12-13, 85 Bannockburn. They lead Bell Post Hill 4-7-31. Give us that trophy. I'll throw it down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, he's a freak. You, you, you get he? no argument from me. <laughs> he's a freak, isn't he? I haven't got enough room in the page for his I know, goals. I'm not kicking more. <laughs> he's got to kick two more. He's got to kick the eight for Pete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, back in the middle. And it is uh, Giles up against Kazina. Giles goes early. Kazina gets it and does his own roving. Only as far as Tom has got Pavic wide, gets a good shepherd from the umpire, gives it to Pavic, running away at half forward, or Pollard just gets him as he gets his kick away, goes towards uh, Roweth, and also College are getting across there, Ryan Carr, Roweth tried to intelligently tap it back, couldn't quite get it, Carr was there in the way, and picks it up now, Ryan Carr, slick little handball to Fairchild, handball wide to Lurie, didn't hit the target, and only hit the boundary line, it is out of bounds on the half forward flank, out of side for Bannockburn. Eric, they're linking up from their handballs were terrific today, Bannockburn, haven't they? But I think the other thing, and I'll perhaps go back to right at the start, Laurie, their, their physical strengths allow them to hold their feet. Bannockburn seem to be slipping over, uh, Bell Post still slipping over, and they're not even making a contest. Yeah, that's right. Falls to the front of the pack now, Lurie gets ripped off the footy, and still in play, is it? No, it's touched 
and out of bounds. <laughs> Stick there, Pete. Don't worry, guys. We've had worse than this in the commentary box. We, this we, wind. We, don't we worry. Could, we could land at Newcombe anyway. We could land at <laughs> we could land at Shell Stadium too if we go the right way. Boundary throw in at 50 for Bankburn. Fairchild from behind pushes to the front of the pack. Kick along the ground by Lurie. Matty Pilgrim should be able to trap it. Does so and drills it back towards Perkins. Can't take the diving slips catch. Clinton oh, Shaw back into the corridor. Damien <laughs> Tom up against Machevic. Tom, oh, watch out, Ronnie. He tries to drag it back in and held up about 35 metres out from Bannockburn's goal. You just you get scared, don't you, if you're a Bell Purse still supporter, if Ronnie's around the ball? Well, I'm scared because if this takes off, well, what would this be? What would this be called? The blimp? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a uh, ball up. Free kick found to Fairchild. Advantage paid, is oh. it? No, has to come back. Perkins having a rest. Zane Carroll coming on for his first run of the day. With Robbie Giles in the ruck. Fairchild's got it. Got Hancock wide. Or oh, this will be oh. want to be a good kick as Zane Carroll is coming at pace. Oh, it's a good kick by Fairchild. Measured beautifully. Carroll was coming on. But Hancock's taken it at half back. Social club side of St Albans Reserve at half back flank. Goes with a kick towards centre wing. Kazina goes up. Off hands. Can't take the mark. Bevan Hurst. Great pick up. Needs Feldman. Brett, that is, goes towards hand. Gad, Gad, tried to keep it in front of him and kept his feet. Feldman, though, does well to work back in there and hold it up at half forward. Miller off. Cameron Carr on for Bell Post. Still umpire says play on the call. Burging gets it out somehow towards Machevic. Gad's there again. Uh, got tackled. Couldn't get the uh, effective handball away. Still at half forward for Bell Post. Still now at the back to Delahunt. Kick towards Pavic and Hurst. Pavic with the sit from behind. Oh, great play. Attacked it. Got his hand to it. Kick off the ground. Great play. Nick Pavic did well. And it is out of bounds on centre wing. And we'll have a boundary throw in. 12 13 85. Bannockburn, Bell Post till 4 7 31. And it'll be Giles and Kazina. Clinton Shaw up there also to maybe come over the back. He'll do so now and gets it down to the side of the pack. Pavic. Oh, runs into Troy Felburn. Held to him, said the umpire. <laughs> Troy Felburn can't believe it. He got pinged a couple of minutes ago. But umpire Santa Spirito says it's mine. And we'll have a ball up. Throws it up now. Giles, Kazina. Neither can get an effective tap. Hurst tries to tap it on. Rose tapped over the back. Messina only as far as Flanagan. Gives it to Matty Pilgrim running backwards at half back. Now he squares up. Goes to the right boot towards Kevin Connors. Punched away off hands. Connolly slick hands only as far as chops. Connors gets it around the corners towards Colleger and Fairchild. Mismatch in height. Foot race now, Hancock leads Carroll on the race of the ball and gets it wide. Now it'll be a foot race again, Hancock will have to make up a bit of ground. Aaron Brooms across there, the boundary line might win. It's pretty close, it is out now. And it is on the outer side, centre wing for a boundary throw in. 17, 17 minutes gone. I'll just take my uh, peer in the eyes down the goal square, Eric, and they've got Cameron Carr out on uh, Andrews, that'd be a mismatch. Bit of a, bit of a concern. Well, I, th the I, ball. Think, I think the problem, Miller's off the ground and Walker's off the ground, so they've lost two of their bigger players. Mm. Got a ball thrown in, and uh, we're going to have to do it again. Bell post no, still it's going about. Uh, oh, it's a free kick. Matty Pilgrim has the ball to kick off the ground that landed over the line. But look at things out there. Now Pilgrim goes backwards. My goodness, he's gone backwards a long way. Tom uh, has the ball, goes right across the ground. Now the lead's on by Gad. I tell, oh, tell you what, he's played a great game, a, a magnificent kick. kick by uh, Tom. Now Gad, he kicks it. Can he uh, get enough uh, carry? Oh, Nick Pavick read it well. Comes back on the ball. Well Great done, sure. The handball's there from Rose. The handball from Rose, not so good. Coming through strongly. Well, great work, Collager. Picks the ball up, weaves, ducks, way. Oh, now he's got into trouble. Well, he's only standing in one spot, Laurie. You've got to tackle him, Laurie. <laughs> and that ball to... Oh, <laughs> great mark. Well, Darren oh, Rose. Well, maybe he would get 50. No, no the umpire perhaps didn't <laughs> see it. So, uh, Rowith has the mark, 25 metres out. Oh. <laughs> well, there were players everywhere on that occasion. Rowith tried to play on, the umpire wouldn't allow him. So now he's going to have to have the shot for goal. I'll tell you what, it went off pretty well off the boot, that one too. And, and I think Rowith's struggling a bit. I think he has got a sore leg from uh, where he hit the post. So, Rowith... Didn't make any difference, though. It's, uh, is it snake Point. No, it's a goal. So there's Rowith's second for the day. And the 13th for the Bannockburn side. On the Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard now, 14 and a half minutes, third quarter. 13-13. 91, Bannockburn lead bell post still 4-7-31. And it's uh, starting to become a bit of a rout, I think, Laurie. Yes, yeah, so I was just going to ask Peter, is it too early to sing? <laughs> no, no, no comment. No, that's next week. <laughs> the big fella's singing. <laughs> He's too. Back in the middle. 
and it'll be Giles and Kazina. Not two of your typical ruckmen. Pretty versatile, these two. Kazina gets it down towards Troy College again. Kicks smothered, goes towards Hurst, gets a shepherd, or oh, breaks away and runs into Matty Pilgrim. He gets a slick handball to College somehow. Ridden in the ground by Pollard. Play on the call. Flanagan straight into Mickelson. Comes back to Kazina towards Brett Feldman. Gives it to Hurst. They need to run it now. Gives it back to Brett Feldman and gets a shepherd. Goes towards Half Ford. Coming out, Illick on a long lead. Needs some support. Kelly's there. Was going to go with a handball. It does so now, but only as far as Nell and Pavic. Does it sit for him? No, it doesn't. Needs some support. Got some. Stephen Gad gives it a rose at half back. Goes back in board. Feldman, uh, Fairchild can't take the mark. College are off hands. Ronnie. Towards Rock and Ronnie. Handball. Great. Slick hands to Shaw. Clinton Shaw runs away at half forward. Goes long towards it. Uh, well, Carr might be able to take this mark on the chest. He is. And he can. And he runs on quickly. Gives it to Ryan. Brother Ryan Carr. Goes towards Hancock. Over the head. Got a hand to it, off hands and out of bounds for a throw in at half forward for Bannockburn. And Kazuna and Giles will come down and do it for their respective sides. Thrown in now. Kazuna over the back. Connolly can't take it with him. Hurst ripped off the footy. Played for a free kick and didn't get one. Shuffled out somehow to Fairchild. He gets ripped off the football. Matty Pilgrim, pretty close to the line. Was going to go with the handball underneath. Handball was intelligent to Colliger. Gives it to Clinton Shaw. Clinton Shaw now can give it a Giles standing start. Runs towards his left boot. Poor kick off. Oh, Ronnie. Got it. Then handball out wide. Looking for Tom on 50. Lost the footy though. And Troy Feldman should be able to break away. Feldman for Belpast Hill. Handball to McDonald. Now he overlaps. Takes it back again. He's got the centre wing. Drives the ball to centre half forward. Oh, good work, Rose, from behind. Got his fist to the ball. Well, it's a bit of a slipper there. Burging gets a handball out wide. Finally comes to Messina. Still at half forward. Goes around the big circle. Gone back the other way. Finally a handball to Lurie. Lurie goes wide to the half forward flank. And I don't think they're going to kick goals from out there, Laurie. They're in the corridor and they've gone deep to the boundary. Yeah. <coughs> Did you notice the guy that was actually trying to... At the Belpo still centre half forward trying to tackle Lurie then? It was Andrews. Like, Andrews has come from full forward to centre half back. He's just making his way back down now. But, but Peter, it was an overuse of the footy there from Bannockburn just in there. I think they've got to get the ball down quicker. From Belpo still. Oh, Bannockburn, they should be in here. They could have got it quick, quicker, I think. From the throw in. The ball's come, uh, well, it's out of bounds once again. So we're going to do it uh, all again. Another interesting move. They're, they're chopping and changing now. And uh, perhaps they're going back to where we started because. Uh, it's like Carr coming off the ground and uh, Bartolo coming back on. He was struggling in the first quarter against Rowell, so what's going to happen now? Ball thrown in. Half forward flank, out of side, and uh, ball pushed back over the, the boundary line. As far as Bannockburn are concerned, they'll be quite happy to concede it out there for the rest of the game, Laurie. Yes, Eric, and uh, you just said, you know, I think uh, that's just enough to give uh, Rowell a bit of edge down there with uh, Bartolo going on him. Well, a bit going off on off the ball. The umpire's sitting back, not even watching. And uh, from the throw-in, it comes to Ronnie Pilgrim again. He's uh, looked for the safety of the boundary and found it gaining another 30 metres for the Bannockburn side. So out of bounds, centre wing. And uh, looks like Troy College is, I'm just suggesting, they might be coming off the ground. Yep, uh, Lincoln East is waiting to come on. So they might be resting <coughs> the... Uh the rover. He's certainly got a crook foot, there's no doubt you see him running. In yeah, comes the ball, centre <coughs> wing. Up high there was Feldman. Looks for the handball, finally gets it. Comes to Pollard. Pollard drives to centre half forward. Oh, in good position was Rose, can't take the mark. Kicked off the ground there by Scotty McDonald. Lights oh, come clear to Hurst. Can he pick it up and go for goal? Oh, oh, magnificent what a tackle. tackle. Not uh, rewarded by the umpire. Picked up there by uh, Masuna. He uh, goes wide to the lead there of Illick. Can't take the mark. Good work in defence by Hewitt. And, uh, well, Hewitt comes back on the ball. Picks it up. Gets a handball back. Only as far there as... Uh, Machevic. Machevic it is. He's kicked it back into the uh, the corridor for uh, Bel Belpast Hill. But, well, they can't pick it up. Off the ground goes uh, Harding. Finally has come <coughs> wide. Pavic kicks it over the top. Now it's a foot race. Well, Messina in front of us is uh, on one leg. He can't run. He's, done he's, a trying, he's trying to get off the ground. And finally, Mickelson it is. Handball to Pollard. Pollard for Belpast Hill. Drives a half forward flank. The ball is uh, over the head of all players. But, oh, great defensive work again. That uh, comes to Pilgrim on half back flank for uh, Bannockman. And that's Ronnie. Takes the mark very comfortably. Back oh. into the centre. Giles, <laughs> great vision. 
Giles takes the mark, runs on, runs to half forward. Well, he could have just chipped it over the top, but he's gone right to the full forward position. But Bannockburn, oh, oh it's man. come back to well uh, done, Rowith. Andrews. Oh. Rowith tapped it forward <laughs> along the ground. Off one step, Andrews has a pot shot and has missed. Four goals, five. So he's had a bit of the ball. He and needed a handball back then, Pete, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And on the Lexus Wyndham scoreboard now, 20 minutes gone, third quarter, 13-14, 92, Bannockburn. They lead Bell Post still scoreless for the third quarter, 4-7-31. Connolly from full back for the Panthers. Messina, as we said, came off. Ryan Carr back on the ground. Hammy for Messina, yeah. Jason. Yep. Connolly now short. Okay. Finds Troy Felburn. Now, he's in the left back pocket. You see Connor's coming off to have a rest as well. He goes back in board looking for Pollard at centre half back. Finds him. Richard Corrigan's coming on. Well, the coach might stay in the box the whole day. He's coming on now to replace Kevin Connors. He's wearing number 35 as well, so not 14. Good kick to found Kazina. Corrigan comes on, can't quite get Kazina as he kicks it long. Hewitt backs himself, comes out, and kick off the ground. Only as far, though, as McDonald. Handball gets it over the top. Can he pick it up? No, he can't. That's his teammate, Kelly. Oh, McDonald. Now, on the left boot. Around the corner. And downfield. downfield. Yeah, against Hewitt. First one they <coughs> give him for the day against Hewitt and it will be downfield to might be Ryan Carr with the footy about uh, seven metres out kicks it backwards to Machovic but he has to get around on his mark which is going to be pretty close to the boundary line and not an easy kick this no so what's he going to do Ryan Carr looking for somebody uh, further afield he plays on now kicks a banana and what's he done with it I think he might have missed it he has one behind to Ryan Carr. They go to 4 8 32 now. Bell Post Hill. Bannock Burn 13 14 92. Lex the Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. 21 and a half minutes gone. Three quarter time, Ballerine. Torquay 6 9. Ocean Grove 7 9. Goal of difference and uh, understand three or four reports in the third quarter. Ooh. So, a uh, bit happening at Newcomb. We might go down there for the last quarter. Pilgrim gets it from fullback from Dallahunt. That's Matt. Goes towards half back or coming in Corrigan. Does well and also does Bevan Hurst who bottles it up for Bell Post Hill. And we will have a ball up at half forward for the Panthers. And getting across there, Kazina to do the ruck work for Bell Post Hill. Giles is already there for Bannockburn. Umpire throws it up now. Giles gets it down to Corrigan. Loses the footy. Oh, Hurst gets his head ripped off. <laughs> and we'll take a free kick. Bevan Hurst has got it. Goes uh, towards Pollard, who can take the mark and run away from Ronnie, can he? Yes, he can, and gets it into the pocket to Kazina, who takes the mark in front of Matt Pilgrim and Corey Flan and uh, Damien Tom. <laughs> the umpire's just saying, settle down. And Kazina has got it. About 30 metres out from goal. We see Perkins coming back onto the ground and Giles coming off to give him a rest. So they're uh, swinging the changes, Bannockburn. Currently lead by 60 points. This to cut the margin for Bell Post Hill. Kazina. He's got it now on the right boot. And he has Drilled just it. squeezed it in, I think, over the umpire's hat. He has. So his first goal this afternoon. And they go to 5 8 38 now, Bell Post Hill. Bannockburn 13 14 92. Lexa Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. 23 and a half minutes gone. And uh, we have a three quarter time score from Shell Stadium. North Shore 4 10 34. Trail St Joseph 6 7 43. Mm. Pete's looking happy up there. He picked St Joe's this morning too. He did. Go the mix. <laughs> <laughs> you, Back can't, at you can't say go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody's getting in on the act now. You can't say go on radio. Back in the middle, Perkins up against Kazina. Oh, oh Ronnie, Ronnie through the middle. And the left foot, great roving. Left foot kick towards uh, 45 metres. Andrews comes out, backing back Hancock. Had it. Oh, he's got it now. Mark Hancock. Short little kick. Nothing to kick to. Who did he want? <laughs> Matty Pilgrim. Well, Matty Pilgrim was standing on the other side of the boundary line, wasn't he? he but it is out of bounds. He pinged Dallahan for one before. That's right, he did too. So it will be a boundary throw in about 60 metres around from Bannockburn's goal. Southern end of the ground. Flanagan goes up in the ruck contest, straight through the Middle East. They're all doing Ronnie Pilgrim impersonations. He goes from 40 metres. Can he finish? Oh, oh, he's done oh, it too. Lincoln East. Lincoln East. Great kick. 
Yeah, we can only cross our fingers, Jason, and hope uh, that kind of inspiration gets him a game next week. I hope so. so he so missed out last year, Beastie. He's, but he's come off the bench most games in the finals and done something like that. He's been yeah. very good off the yeah. bench. He, he was the one guy that got the... No, he missed, he missed yeah. out last oh, year, right. unfortunately, Lincoln. Oh, yeah. I hear what you say. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> good for him to kick a goal this afternoon and also maybe to uh, get that spot in the grand final side. They're 14 14 98. Bannock Burn, they look like they're going there. Bell post till 5 8 38. Lex to win them. Third quarter scoreboard. We've been playing 25 minutes. Umpire with the ball in the centre of uh, St Albans Reserve. Up it goes. In the ruck there is the uh, Perkins. Well, Oh, Ronnie Pilgrim just tapped it forward to Pavic, a handball to Tom, and away they go again, over the top there of, uh, that was Carroll on the ground. Oh, well, Carr did a very good job getting it wide, but in good position on centre wing is Nicky Pavic, just ahead there of uh, Brett, Pol uh, Brett uh, Pollard, and uh, Nick Pavic has taken the mark in front of our broadcast position. Drives it back into the forward line, good looking kick. In good position there, can't to, oh, Carroll, brilliant roving on that occasion at the back, on the left foot, he's gone bang and nearly knocked the goal umpire over, so first goal for Zane Carroll, 15th goal for the Bannockburn side, six goals in 25 minutes this quarter, 15-14, 104 Bannockburn on the Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard, 5-8-38, Bell Post Hill. It's uh, really a game of fortunes, isn't it, like Walker's come off injured, um, I, I think Pollard's carrying an injury. Miller's off with a sore knee and then you've got uh, Bannockburn the luxury of r just running Zane Carroll onto the ground fresh set of legs, thank you very much, kick a goal just runs Lincoln East on the ground for their first run, thank you very much bust a pack, kick a goal. Richard Corrigan run on the ball, Sam, what sort of a luxury is that? <laughs> back in the middle, Perkins and Kuzlina Perkins goes up, tries to tap it to the back, they've uh, read it this time, Col uh, Feldman, handball to Simon Connolly his handball further afield towards Lurie. Sets him a task. Kick off the ground by Stulfa. Oh, has he kicked it too far? I think he has. Yes. And it will be a free <coughs> kick to Delahunt. Just on the defensive side of centre wing. Goes towards Corrigan now. Takes the mark. Chips over the top to Lincoln East. Oh, he can chip over to Flanagan, who's got an absolute paddock. Has to oh, go. Oh, Cameron right. Carr's in yeah. two minds. He's got Andrews. Oh, kick. Oh. oh, shocking kick, though. And Pollard oh, rides the bump and takes the mark. And... Uh, well, I don't think there was any need for John Bartolo to come uh, in there at the end. Could, could turn it over if Downpaw is yeah. doing the job properly. But Brett Pollard's got the footy. And I'm sure the Bannockburn boys would want to stay out of everything. Now, Brett Pollard's got it. We see Matty Pilgrim coming off. Troy Colliger coming back on. So they're swinging a the change as the Bannockburn side, giving everybody a bit of a rest in the uh, wet conditions this afternoon. And the free kick stands. So it's pretty ordinary umpiring on that occasion. Brett Pollard still with the ball. He's got it now. Short little kick to Cameron Carr. Hasn't gained anything in meterage. Just a bit close to the boundary line. Goes in short. Troy Feldman at defensive 50. He's got Pollard again at centre half back. He might have to go there. He's got uh, brother Brett a bit wider. He's looking for something. He's got Hancock in the middle. He's got Bartolo nice. running past. We might go to sleep. Troy can wake us up. There we go. Goes to Simon Connolly short. The whole game's falling apart, hasn't it? You yeah. know, they've got no confidence, no, no, not no, going, no, not no initiative, anywhere. no nothing. He goes straight down the middle. He's going to get chopped off by Stephen Gadd. Stephen Gadd from the middle now. Goes long. Troy Feldman should be able to take the mark uncontested. Pete's not a happy man. The Storm oh, have gone down to Olympic sure. Park, 34-10. to 10, Kick in towards Pollard. Has got it at centre half back and runs away. Goes the left boot wide, looking for Bevan Hurst and also out there. Kelly off hands. Oh, tapped on beautifully by Gad <laughs> to Hurst. Oh, oh coming in Flanagan. Handball over the top. Feldman should get a shepherd. He does. He gets around a couple. Does well. Evades a couple of tackles. Goes to the torpedo punt towards half forward. Running on Kazina and also Damian Tom. The major gets back there. Illick also in there as well. And uh, the ball is actually outside the pack. The umpire will come in and bounce it now. So the Melbourne Storm going down to St George Illawarra 34-10. Does that Get, mean they're out of it? No, mate, we'll no. another chance. Another chance, that's OK. So they've gone down at home to St George Illawarra this afternoon, 34-10. Here it's 15-14-104, Bannockburn. Bell post till 5-8-38. 29 minutes gone in the third term. And the pack develops from their up contest again. The umpire will have to come in and ball it up. Every but time they get a pack there, <coughs> Scotty McDonald comes up with the, the shoulder uh, not looking real good. Big pack around the ball too, at half forward. Throw it up now. Kazina 
Tried to thump it on towards Troy Felpin. Oh, fresh air shot in the middle of the pack. Comes out to Corrigan at half back. Now the coach, where does he go? Wide looking for Clinton Shaw. Great kick. Kicks it out to space. And he takes the grab. Clinton Shaw at centre wing. Oh, what's going on? Plays on now. Goes towards centre half forward. Fairchild went up. Oh, Zane Carroll took the mark, didn't he? Said the umpire. Yes, he did. Played on quickly. Right foot kick around the corner to Troy Colliger, who's got a paddock. Pollard tries to make up a bit of ground. He runs in. And it's not made it. Oh, the trainer <laughs> at the back. Oh, four blokes. And Zane and uh, Shane Andrews has taken the mark in the goal square. He's kicked four goals, five. I think Darren Rowles wasn't at all happy with a bit of attention well, on the ground there. Well, I don't, you know, Bartolo's only been on for a couple of minutes and all he's doing is causing... He's just a protagonist, yeah. Uh, he's uh, not, not playing footy. Uh, take him away. Andrews. Get, get him off. What? To, no, it's not good for footy. Kick four goals, five. <laughs> no, not Andrews. No, I know that. Shane Andrews. From the goal square. Has kicked the goal. Well, the mark deserved it, didn't it? Yeah, oh, it did. Great mark over the back <laughs> of three other players. And he's kicked the 16th for Bannockburn. They go to yeah. 16, 14, 110. They lead Bell Post till 5, 8, 38. We've lost the pot a bit at the moment. I think there's, I mean, there's no need for that. There's a bit of going on up there again at the moment. You can do without that. That's, that's, that's rubbish. It's pretty to I mean, what a great mark that was. He had his name written on that day, didn't he? Yes, but it was a great loop, yeah. straight up in the air. But my mind goes back here five minutes ago, Eric Flanagan. The, yeah, you know, that, that's typical of Banning yep. today. They, he made something out of nothing, you know, dived on that ball, pushed it forward, and uh, that's typical of they've played all day. Well, Ralph's uh, got a bit of a limp up two and a half forward, so they might be changing something there. Mate, he's had it since he ran into the, into yeah. the goalpost. Uh, I think he says, well, I've had enough. Enough's <laughs> enough. So Kevin Connors is ready to come back on. We're back in the middle. And uh, it will be Kazina and Perkins. Get it to the back. Feldman, Troy. Can run away on the right boot and go towards uh, full forward. Coming out, car can't take the mark. Needs some support. Illix there as well. I bumped off the footy by Hewitt. He's got some support. Handball went to Gad. He lost it. Still in the pack. They've just got the numbers. Rose gets it to the safety of the boundary line. You, took, you guys are talking about matchups before. Gary Fairchild on Troy Colliger. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're switching now. He's going to pick up Lincoln East and Mickelson or Michelson is coming back to pick up Troy Colliger. Boundary throw in. Half forward. Left half forward for Bell Post Hill. Brett, Brett Feldman running on the ball and about 50 metres behind the play. <laughs> Troy Feldman in the middle of the pack situation and he's there again, tries to break a couple of tackles. Oh, he's over the ball. Umpire Nolan says it's mine and we'll do it all again. Actually, Umpire Nolan's not moving all that well either. There's a few, there's a few <laughs> carrying injuries out there by looking at things. It's a three-quarter time siren. Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard at three-quarter time. Bell Post Hill 5-8-38. They trail Bannockburn 16-14, 110. They kick seven goals, two in that quarter, Bannockburn and... Bell Post Hill managed one goal, one. The goal kick is to three-quarter time. Six to Ron Pilgrim, five to Shane Andrews and two to Darren Roth. Singles to Zane Carroll, Lincoln East and Troy Colliger. While for Bell Post Hill, their goal kick is Brett Pollard, Troy Feldman, Brett Feldman, Ange Messina and Alois Cassina. They've kicked one goal each. And at three-quarter time, it is Bannockburn. 16-14, 110. They lead Bell Post Hill, 5 8, 38.